Today we're going to talk about my favorite needle, Twi Needle. And yes, I do have my favorite needle. Twi Needle is one of the most versatile sewing tools you can have and it works with modern domestic sewing machines that have a zigzag function. In today's video, I'll show you seven ways how you can use Twi Needle, starting from techniques that I love the most and use most often. And we will end by a few creative techniques that you probably haven't seen before. This video is created in partnership with Organ Needles, needle industry experts. So now let's dive into the world of Twi Needle. First technique is my favorite and it's hemming knits. So what you want to do first, you want to fold the seam allowance, press it and then do a base stitch about half a centimeter from the cut line. This will work as our guide as we will be sewing with Twi Needle from the right side of the garment. Next, install Twi Needle to sewing machine. One important part right here, if you're hemming knits using this technique, you want to make sure to use Twi stretch needle. So compared to standard universal needles, needles that are meant for stretch fabrics have a rounded tip that slips between threads instead of cutting through them, so they are not damaging the fabric and they are creating a smooth, durable seam. So remember this when you're sewing knits with twin needle, make sure to pick twin stretch needle. With twin needle, you're sewing from the right side of the garment and navigate fabric so that the right needle is going right along the base stitch. Once you went around the hem, remove base stitch and the hem is finished. From the right side of the fabric, twin needle creates two rows of stitches and from the inside it creates zigzag that gives seam its elasticity and it also will protect the fabric from fraying. So in this technique we are using twin needle as a substitute for cover lock machine and it creates this very professionally looking elastic hem. So this is the first technique that I wanted to show you and before moving to the second technique I want to take a minute to talk about the tension because tension is key when sewing with twin needle. More than with any other needle, twin needle requires fine tuning of the tension for each project and fabric. This tension setting we're sewing the seam that looks kind of bumpy and the zigzag is not correct. Because of that you always want to take a piece of the fabric you will be sewing and just test to see how the twin needle is sewing and what seam it's creating so that you can really create a very beautiful finished seam. So now that we talked about tension, let's use tension to create pin tags with twin needle. So for this technique you will also need pin tagging foot that has these grooves at the bottom. Increase the tension to maximum. Start sewing with twin needle and with increased tension and pin tagging foot you are getting these pin tags with just one seam. You can sew as many pin tag rows as you want to create beautiful details that you can use in home decor or your garments. In this technique the higher the tension the more express pin tags you will get. One more technique you can create while we have the pin tacking foot on, you can create square pin tags. So first sew a few lines of pin tags. Now let's rotate the fabric 90 degree and make a few more rows of pin tags crossing previous lines. And now we get this beautiful structure of squared pin tags and you can use it as a decorative look for home decor. Next use of twin needle is doing top stitching. Now let's get back to the universal presser foot and reduce the tension. Twin needle is easy way to do top stitching, especially if you're sewing denim. If you want to get really beautiful top stitches, pair thicker thread and higher size needle like 100 or higher. Also remember that twin needle comes in different widths between the needle, so choose the width that will work best for your design. You can also create a very beautiful decorative stitches using twin needle. For this step you need twin needle that is closer together and you also need a press or foot with a wider opening. Now let's install some thicker threads and select one of the decorative stitches on the sewing machine. Hi, this is Julie from the future. I forgot to add one very important thing before we move to this technique. Now before starting sewing the decorative stitches using twin needle, you have to check so that when the needle is moving from one side to another side right, it's not hitting the edges of the presser foot. This is why we want to use a 
press her foot with the wider opening. This is why we're using twin needles that are close together, both needles, right? And this is why you want to select the zigzag that is quite narrow. But always make sure to test it because otherwise you might damage the needle or the presser foot if the needle hits the presser foot when it's doing those decorative stitches. Now that you're sewing, you're getting those double decor stitches and it's one of the ways how you can create a very unique seam finish. This next way how you can use twin needle is to use it to attach elastic binding. To do that, you can use a binding foot, elastic binding and twin stretch needle. Sew with a straight stitch setting and you get this elastic seam finish that you can use for baby clothes or swimwear. And the final technique that I wanted to show you today is you can attach straps using twin needle with just one seam. So simply take the strap you want to attach, the wide twin needle and so, and both long edges are securely attached. So I hope you enjoyed learning about twin needle and if you did, I would appreciate if you would hit the like button. Thank you for watching today's video and I will see you next time. Bye!